Hello, it's Salimi. In today's video, we will be upgrading my Toyota Camry's filter box from factory to this cold air intake that I bought on AliExpress. The problem with these ones, if we install it like this, you will lose horsepower for sure and not gonna gain anything. So the idea of cold air intake that we have to send cold air into the engine. But if you remove the stock air intake and install this one, we will send hot air into the intake and we will lose horsepower. That's why the factory made this dock in front of the engine so we can send coolest air into the engine. So my idea is to redesign the filter box and make a custom filter box design so we can fit this filter inside it. And I have another idea it will make it cooler. We will make it transparent so we can see the filter inside it and it will always visible if it's dirty or not so we can replace it with a new one so with a new design we have to think about mass airflow sensor and this vacuum line so all these things have to be with a new filter box this could be a fun project if we can gain some horsepower with this cheap cold air intake now i'm gonna start the engine so we can hear how it sounds with the stock filter box <laughs> So I'm gonna take all the measurements I need so I can design a new custom filter box that fits with a new filter. So my idea is to redesign the top part of the filter box and leave the bottom part. Because with the bottom part, we have this duct here and comes in front of the engine. And we have to take advantage from the cold air away from the engine. That's why I'm gonna leave it like this. So we will only redesign the top part so we can slide in over there and use these tabs as well. This is a basic kit. It comes with aluminum pipe, silicone hose, clamps, and the filter itself. The quality of the filter is not bad. It's being glued pretty well. This hole for the vacuum line, I wish they didn't make that hole over there. But we're gonna have to make another hole for the mass airflow sensor here. And make a bracket so it holds the mass airflow sensor. Here is the vacuum line for Toyota Camry. And I'm gonna connect it to this hole. And I'm gonna have to make another hole here for mass airflow sensor. Somewhere close to the filter. When designing mass airflow sensor bracket on this pipe. It has to be in the middle exactly. That way it will give us more accurate reading. If it's above or below. It will give us wrong reading. Therefore we will lose horsepower. Alright guys. With the stock filter intake. I'm gonna do fuel pulls so we can know how long it takes from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. I'm gonna do 3 pulls and take average from them. Alright, let's go. So I took all these measurements into the SketchUp and designed a custom filter box. I'm gonna be using biggest 3D printer I have which is Creality CR10 Max and I will use ABS material which is heat resistant. I have the files with me in this SD card, let's 3D print it. Here is all the things I need, here is the new 3D printed filter box with the acrylic top and I will remove the film later and then we are gonna put the lid on and I have all the screws I need. So first we are gonna have to make a hole here for the mass airflow sensor and then we are gonna remove the stock one and put the new one on. This mass airflow sensor bracket also 3D printed but it is resin 3D printed so that's why it looks way better quality than this one. So we're gonna mark it with a sharpie and then make a hole here and two holes for the screws. Alright next I'm gonna be using R24 o-ring size for the bracket so it doesn't leak any air. Mm. 
All right, for now we are done with this. Now we're gonna work on the 3D printed cover. All right, we are done with the cover. We're gonna put it aside. Here we have the filter and the aluminum pipe will be like this. And then we have a clamp, we'll clamp it down. It will be in this slider and we have this bracket here which holds in place. Then we'll put the cover back and we have four screws to hold it secure. But we're not gonna put it like this. First we have to remove the stock filter box and then we're gonna install the pipe only. Then we will put this one on, slider and then the cover. Now we can install the pipe. I have all the clamps I need. Now we're gonna put it on. Next I will put the filter box. Now the filter itself with the clamp. Now we're gonna put the slider to hold the pipe and then the cover. Alright, everything is secure now and looks very good. The only thing remaining now is the mass airflow sensor. Let's remove the mass airflow sensor on the stock filter box and install it here. Alright, we are all done. I also connected the vacuum line as well. Now we're gonna start up and hear how it sounds. And then we're gonna take it for a test drive and see how long it will take from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. The 3D printed parts you see here are not designed to be inside the engine but kind of they are heat resistant so if I see it worked well and we gained some horsepower I can send it to some companies and 3D print it in a different material that can handle the heat of the engine. It's very sturdy and not gonna go anywhere. Let's go for a test drive. I'm still inside the city. I can feel it gained some power and it has better response. But we're gonna go to the highway and see how it's gonna go. It definitely had a better response when I pull it. Yeah, it gained some power and it sounds way cooler. I had to stop for a checkup and looks like it's very cool because of the airflow. It feels very good now and it has better response and we don't have any check engine light. Alright we are back, I'm really happy with the design and how it hold up and gave us some extra power and better response. Even though it holds the engine heat, but I would like to remove it and send the 3D file to some companies that 3D print with different materials. Some companies has carbon fiber or different materials that I can choose from. But overall I'm really happy with the design and how it looks now. Alright that's for this video, hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.